Hello, good morning and happy Saturday guys. So welcome again to my vlog. Last week I talked about um, Trans Yogyakarta. Now I want to practice what we have learned. So today our destination is a nice place. Um, the name is... Uh, okay, it is still a secret letter. I will tell you about that. Um, I will go there by Trans Yogyakarta. So now I am at Sanata Dharma University Auditorium and um, now I will try to find the nearest Trans Yogyakarta shelter. So let's go. So guys, that is the shelter you can see, right? Okay, now well, let's go. Shelter car. Okay. And you go inside. We already entered the Trans Yogyakarta Center. We will wait for a while for the Trans, Trans Yogyakarta. So our route is 2A. So you guys may be curious, right? So be patient and later on you will know the destination. While waiting for the Trans Yogyakarta, rather than doing nothing and just keep waiting, I suggest you to spend this place of time by doing things you like. For example, trading online or listening to the music or reading a novel maybe. But um, today I have to Dari generasi net menuju generasi pelopor Mutiara Andalas SJ So while waiting, I suggest you to spend this nation time by doing things that you like um, if, if not, then you will be, uh, you will maybe getting bored So, um, let's wait Okay guys, so the Trans Yogyakarta is already coming, you may see that There is the bus, okay? Be ready. Okay, let's get it. So here guys, we already entered the Trans Yogyakarta, so we will go to the next shelter. Guys, so we already arrived now. So can you guys guess it where it is? If you're from Yogyakarta, maybe you will be familiar with this place. So here it is Gajah Mada University, or in Indonesian we call it Universitas Gajah Mada. It is a public research university located in Yogyakarta, special regions of Yogyakarta, Indonesia. Um, officially founded on, on December 1949. It is the oldest and largest institutions of higher education in Indonesia. So UGM was the first state university in Indonesia and established when Indonesia was three years old and facing threats from the Netherlands, which wanted to regain control of the Republic. And at that time, the capital of Indonesia had moved from Jakarta to Jakarta. Um, I think that's enough for the introduction. So our destinations is an area in UGM. So let's go. Oke 
Okay guys, we are already here. Some of you maybe ever come here. So here it is, Graha Sabha Pramana. So as a multifunctions building, Graha Sabha Pramana since 1995 has been used as a place for graduations, seminars, exhibitions, music concerts, or weddings. Graha Sabha Pramana currently as one of the sets managed by the University Club of UGM. Graha Sabha Pramana is one of the icons in Yogyakarta. This luxurious building as a part of the University of Gajah Mada often used in variety of academic events, for example the release of graduations. The popularity of this building is not only limited to Zivitas UGM. So, can you guess it? Why make it popular? Let's listen to the following information. Beside being used in a variety of academic events, this building is also used as a place for concert, inviting several national musicians. When late afternoon arrived, around this luxurious building quite crowded by many young people. In addition to the strategic location, which is located between the Central Library and also the campus UGM Mosque. Around this building is one of the widely used for various youth activities. Jogging is one of them. Whether jogging with friends or pets, it is still far. In addition, this place is a shady area because there are a lot of trees. This area also has minimum pollution because it is not a road that is open to the public. So, if you have some free time in the afternoon, walk around the building known as GSP can be interesting. In addition to healthy, you are also free to enjoy the fresh air at the time chatting with friends or your pet. Even the term jogging time now seems to be an integral part of one of the building's pride of the citizen of Yogyakarta. Cheap, fresh, and healthy. Let's try jogging in this extraordinary place and just feel the sensations. Okay, so I think that's all for my vlog today. Um, have a nice day and, and, and enjoy GSP. I will see you in my next vlog. Bye.